Yo, what's good? With y'all, gang. And gang, as always, hope each and every last one of y'all is doing well, Brody. And thank y'all for all the love and support that y'all been showing on the streams. It has been lit, and I appreciate you. But you know, as always, man, if you like this video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you are new. We're going crazy, bro. GTA is 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 is, is going crazy over here on this channel. And uh, you want to be a part of that, bro. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that like button. Thank you, gang. But yeah, my G, man, in this video, Brody, I just want to talk about the simple point of fact that Rockstar... It's almost about that time, buddy. It's about that time that y'all start really giving us some more information about something in the GTA community, bro. We pretty much need it right about this time, man. And I ain't even just talking GTA 6, even though we desperately need some GTA 6 news. But I'm mainly talking also about GTA Online, buddy, and just... Oh, should I put out a sniper? That's crazy. Bro, why did you just run up on me like shit, sweet? What is wrong with you, buddy? But not only am I just talking about some GTA 6 news, I'm talking about the next GTA Online DLC, which I don't have no earthly idea about. I don't know when it's coming out. I don't know what it's going to be about, anything like that. I have no real life idea what the next GTA Online can even be or what will they even do, man. But I think right about this time, man, we could definitely use a new teaser trailer or not teaser trailer, but like a teaser of a new vehicle or something, man. We desperately need something going on in the community just to kind of just get us back hype for GTA, man. We also really been looking and looking and looking and looking for the next GTA 6 information, man. If y'all don't know, Rockstar Games or Take-Two's next earning call, I think from what I'm seeing is it's on November the 6th, which means hopefully we get something GTA 6 related in the damn community, man. Like we get a new teaser trailer. They bring up something. I don't even give a damn if it's just, hey, GTA 6 has gotten delayed, which, of course, don't nobody want, none of us want that to happen, but at the end of the day, I would respect them just telling us something. But I don't really give a damn. I really want more so just anything, man. I know we got the new Red Dead PC port um, dropping or whatever. I ain't gonna, I'm finna shoot all y'all in y'all face. One, two. And get him off. Yes, sir. Well, we got somebody way over there. Bing, bang. Beautiful. Is this the last dude right here? Beautiful. There we go. But yeah, we getting the Red Dead Redemption port for PC coming, I think, in the next couple of days, I think, right? Or if it ain't already out. I ain't ended up coming out on the 29th or something like that. I can't be sure. I had to go and do my research on it to make sure, man. But we got that drop in, which I wanted to get it on release, but for right now, I don't really think I'm gonna end up doing it, man. So we we got that, and that's cool, but for $50, that's a crazy cash grab, but that's not nothing that I'm even really shocked about with Rock stock games in the mode like man we already figured the day was gonna pretty much kind of cash grab for like the hardcore players and stuff like that man so i ain't really shocked on that i will be picking up red dead redemption one on pc i just don't know when i'm gonna do it i'm gonna wait till it go on sale though i ain't gonna spend 50 bucks for the pc for the red dead redemption one i'm just not gonna do it but yeah hopefully by that time man because last year around that time the run the earnest call that's when we got the first little teaser for gta 6 coming out or the teaser for the gta 6 trailer so hopefully we keep that same memento with GTA 6 um, trailer 2 or the next information. My thing is, it would make sense if they was to drop something this time right here, like a year or so later. My thing is, I guess I would say, if we don't hear anything about GTA 6 within this year, this is not a guarantee. This is just a thought process that I got. I'ma guess 9 times out of 10, the game has actually been delayed, and we may not be seeing the game until maybe later on in the beginning of 2026. That's just a guess. I hope that's not the case, but I would think you going between an entire year and some change in between trailers, it may be some type of eternal delay going on, no cap. But at the same time, on the GTA Online front, we should be getting some brand new news about a next GTA, next GLC or something. I know we gonna get the heist event stuff coming in later on and all that type of stuff, so that's gonna be cool for the community and just having us stuff, stuff us to do. 
I was killed myself. But at the end of the day, Rockstar, we need something, man. We we kind of not desperate, you know what I'm saying? We ain't gonna never say we desperate out here, but we kind of is desperate, bro. Especially for GTA 6 news. At least, at least for that. I wouldn't say we desperate for GTA Online news. Like, we know that's coming. I wouldn't even question that at all, for real, for real. But for the most part, we definitely need something along the lines of GTA 6 stuff, no cap. Yo, my man, is you gonna just drive off like that? Like, you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna let me get in the V or nothing? Also, gang, something that I also wanted to talk about, and this is nothing GTA related at all, man, but this is something that I've been thinking about for a while, bro, and the reason why I've been thinking about this is because of the simple fact of just how the world just been kind of working and just everything that's been going on lately, man, and it's the whole evolvement with AI. Like, bro, on, on some real shit, bro, this AI thing has kind of like started taking over the world on like a serious, like serious, serious tip. It ain't like extreme, extreme yet, but at the same time, man, y'all ain't like really scared, bro. Like I seen someone where they got like Tesla robots and I been seeing all these little like meme videos and TikToks and Instagram reels of people basically saying how they gonna be trying to like abuse a Tesla robot and telling them to do this and telling them to do that. But at the end of the day, like, bro, that stuff don't worry y'all, man. Like the way the world has been like evolved and going over the past couple of just years with technology and just the internet be having everybody going crazy and people just been losing their mind and bro y'all ain't scared man like on, on one hand like when I say scared I don't mean like you like terrified you don't want to come outside you want to become a complete another ludite or some shit but like just on some we need to relax like everybody need to kind of take a step back and just check in with reality real quick man like I don't know this whole AI situation and just Tesla robots and just the way people just is acting on the internet and just taking everything way too serious and doing way too much. It's just, I don't know, man. I'm worried about the future of our, our of our people, man, as far as humans go and as far as our minds go, man. Y'all is out here tweaking, brody. And I know I ain't like the big advocate of trying to tell a motherfucker what to do because I don't really get into that, man. But at the end of the day, like, it's just something that I think about. Like, man, AI is really starting to take the fuck over and everybody just seemed to be on board with this shit like niggas ain't got fucking movies and shit telling us hey we may want to slow the fuck down because once these motherfuckers go to being sentient and go to tweaking I don't know what to say to you gang I'm gonna be real with you but that's just me gang I don't want to mess around with that damn AI and all these different robots and all that type of stuff I'm not saying that if I had it I wouldn't get me one or nothing like that but I damn so if I was to give me a little robot you know personal assistant or something I'm damn so not finna mistreat it. That motherfucker, that motherfucker gonna love me. I'm not finna go out like them people on iRobot or them people in uh, the truck become human and all that. I'm not having that, bro, because when them goddamn robots stand against our motherfucking ass and y'all be running this bitch looking crazy, looking, look, looking, looking like Squirrel when he was sitting in that box asking for spare change fucked up in the hood, I'm gonna be straight because my robot gonna love me if I was to even get one. I don't even know if I'd get one, but if I was to, my robot gonna love me. I'm gonna fuck with him. I'm gonna be like, hey, boy, let's play the game. Like, we gonna be cool, gang. No cap, man. But y'all is y'all is overdoing it, bro. I understand that, you know what I'm saying? That's just how technology work. And, you know what I'm saying? Maybe I don't need to be overthinking it or whatever. But, hey, y'all is wildin', bro. Like I said, they got the little six robots out here now. You got the little Tesla bots out here. AI is going crazy. Having people looking crazy and doing all type of wild shit. You know what I'm saying? They trying to put all this shit in our phones and... Man, I ain't now. Nah. I'm just saying, I'm just letting you know. If an outbreak bop out, I'm gonna be somewhat ducked off. Don't try to come find me. Don't come look for me. Don't ask what Joe at. I'm I'm gone. I'm I'm off the grid, my G. No cap. <laughs> no bullshit. But yeah, gang, that's pretty much all I got for y'all in this video right here, man. I just wanted to come out here and just chop it up with y'all and just say, Rockstar, it's about that time, man. We looking forward to you, brother, before these years out, man. Round by we get round by the time we get that earnest call, I'm definitely gonna have my ear to the streets. I'm definitely gonna be looking over Twitter, looking over social media, looking at the Rockstar Games pages and all that to see if we get something. 
something, especially something GTA 6 related. That's what I'm mostly looking forward to. But hey, I'm even down for some GTA Online news at this point. Like I said, Red Dead Online, or not Red Dead Online, but Red Dead Redemption 1 on PC is a W. I'm just not going to get it right now. I will wait for it to go to, on sale on Steam or Rockstar Games launch or something like that, and we'll go about it like that. But for right now, $50, Rockstar, y'all tweaking, boy. I'm not spending $50 on that PC port. It's old, even though I am excited for the PC version of Red Dead Redemption, no cap. But gang, as always, man, thank y'all for all love us, put the time to drop it on these videos and these streams, man. It definitely do mean the entire world to me, Brody. But I'm finna get ready to get on up out of here, man. I gotta get ready to edit this video and lock in on that, Brody. So as I always say, man, y'all be easy. Y'all take care. And until the next one, gang, I'm about this thing, man. Peace. I'm finna edit this video, get this bad boy rented out, and then I'm finna go play some Black Ops 6, man. So I'll see y'all on the flip side, gang. I'm gone.